Magic the Gathering is my favorite card game. I like it because of its beauty. I like it because of its complexity. I like it because of its emotional appeal. This is my favorite card. Vagrant Plow Beasts. It isn't too powerful, it isn't too rare, it isn't too expensive, but it has been with me for a very long time. And because of this, it has transcended its value as a piece of paper by the power of nostalgia. Why do you play Magic the Gathering? It's mentally stimulating, I suppose. I just like seeing what you can do. I like Magic the Gathering. Part of it is nostalgia. I played it in high school, and then being able to play it now again with friends, it's always a fun time. I can chalk it up to the fact that my dad played back in the mid-90s. Uh, he had some pretty cool stuff, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I started playing it. Avishi Margalit, PhD, in a 2011 paper wrote on this self-same topic, saying that nostalgia is a compound of two Greek terms, nostra meaning returning home, and egos or pain or yearning. Nostalgia distorts the reality of time past. Nostalgia idealizes its objects. What is your favorite card? But research the deep because Clash is just hilarious. Liliana the Veil because the art is great and it's a good card for grieving people with. Tershana, Voice of Thunder, I think is what it is. And I just, when I saw that card, I wasn't planning on buying it or anything. It wasn't one I went in with a list on, but I just saw it and just immediately fell in love. Nostalgia isn't just regulated to Magic the Gathering fans only. In a study conducted by researchers, with the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, we found out how many of us are plagued with this longing. Thus, 79% of participants indicated that they experienced nostalgia once a week or more. For many companies, profitability isn't found by making a liked product, but a loved one. One that customers will go back to again and again, consistently seeking that rush that you get when you first started. This was emphasized in an article by Druvinka Ugroski on the topic of nostalgia in Yugoslavia. Yugo nostalgia only reinforces its position. How? Here, nostalgia has radically changed in essence. No longer a protest against forgetting a problematic existent system or a longing for a former life. Benefiting the very richest of the rich. What is your most expensive card? The most expensive that I bought was a $37, $38 Crater Hoof Behemoth. Currently Mox Opal. Right now, what was it, going for $89.87? I've got an old card from the set Legends called Nether Void that's worth these days right around $900. Now, we shouldn't just give up on everything that we do for fun, but rather we should reflect on what we are doing for fun. We can become so focused on our own lives and getting our favorite things that we don't look back and see how much or what we are spending it on. Without buying what we love, there would be no art, no fast cars, no fun guns, no sports, no games, indeed, no magic, the gathering or otherwise. We need things that have no intrinsic value, things that might only matter for us. Consider the good that we can do for other people, and perhaps don't buy that Maserati, pair of Jordans, or pack of magic cards. Or do. Who am I to say? I'm just a YouTube video.